Hey, we're entering the month of June. We are officially in the summer season. Well, today I want to share with you in Irvine, Great Park neighborhood, what is going on in the real estate market in the last month of May. at the May report for Great Park Home Sales. Just to remind you, the number here is consolidating both single van home and condo as total. Let's look at the average list price. So in May, we saw the Great Park Homes was uh, the average list price is at $2.265 million. In terms of average sales price, that's 1.66, 1.67 million. Uh, some of you might have a question, whoa, why is there the huge difference uh, between 2 to 2 seven and 2.27 million list price and sales price 1.67. It's hard to draw uh, simply based on these two numbers. What it meant is just said that uh, it just, just means that in the month of May, the total home active listing um, is 2.27. So it probably have tend to have more bigger home or more single family home. That's why the average price point is higher. And the sales price means that those homes actually got closed. The transactions completed in May. So those homes are actually not in the same life stage. So it's it's hard to draw uh, any meaningful conclusion just based on those. So just bear in mind that the sales price here is lower, just means that the great car home probably in May, more lower price home or smaller home or condo home are so That's why the average sales price is 1.7 uh, million. Next, we're looking at the ratio. The ratio is between sales price and list price. So we'll compare to look at the um, close home, what they're initially listed at and how much they actually close that. So this ratio show us, given us an indication that on average in the month of May, in great part, the numbers 106%. That means on average, the home sold in May get on average 6% higher than the list price. So it shows you that there's still a strong demand. Uh, most of, most likely there's still multiple offer. That's why people buyer feel the need to bid up in order to get the home. Next one, we're like looking at average days on market to show you that how long does it take for a new listing to get sold? Uh, the number in May is 18 days. Well, I will say that compared to rest of Irvine, this is still a very short number. So uh, at least in the May, uh, month of May, we still see a very strong uh, traction uh, for Great Park Home. And next line item we're looking at is just look at the total property for sale in May. So it's kind of given an idea that how much home in terms of inventory wise. So that number is 47 homes for sale in the month of May. We can see that if we compare to the previous period, that's the May number 47. We can see that it's higher than the April number. It's also higher in the previous three months average. That means February, March, April. So definitely great part also start to see that there's more coming on our market to sell another way another dimension to show you in terms of the inventory the availability of homes is that monthly supply supply of inventory so if we only look at the inventory on the market that's just one dimension for this one the monthly supply of inventory it's the relationship uh, between total home for sale and how much uh, the buyer demand is. It's okay to have a lot of uh, home available for sale if the buyer demand is still very strong because they got digest absorbed really fast. So that's just another angle to show you in terms of the inventory level and how the market absorbing those. So in the main number, you def we definitely see a jump uptick. It's 1.57, it's almost like 1.6 months uh, worth of supply. This number compared to previous months, again, is higher than the April number, also higher than the past three months ever. Next, I also want to share with you the most timely expert opinion in terms of the housing market. We just share with you a very micro local data. Then I want to share a different on the higher overall U.S. real estate market perspective. The housing market is at a turning point. We're starting to see signs of a new direction, but the ball is still in seller's courts in most housing markets by Daniel Hale, chief economist, Realtor.com. From Realtor.com, experts don't believe the market is in a bubble or a crash is in the cards, like during the Great Recession. The nation is still suffering from the housing shortage that has reached crisis proportion at a time. 
when many millennials are reaching the age where they start to consider home ownership, that's likely to keep prices high. That's my latest update for Irvine Great Park May report. If you're curious to find out how much your home is worth, use the link below. You can get the monthly update so you are keeping your tab on your home value. Or you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, uh, there's a link below. We can schedule a chat right away. I'll see you in the next video.